Hello, fellow humans. Welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. Last we left off, we gave a dog a mild diuretic. We're, we're not good people, folks. Now, at this point in the game, you may be wondering what exactly to do. We've sent Allie off to her afterlife, and, well, there doesn't seem to be anything left. We do have one last plot, loose plot thread, though, so we're going to go take care of that. You coming? Yeah, sure. Now, by going outside, you can see... Just a second. That the game makes it somewhat easy for us, those of us who are confused, with there being only one location on the map. Clearly, this is where we have to go. Please be advised, as visiting hours are now over. Oh, well. Looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. So the deacon is going to go to Susan tonight. And, well, we know what he does to teenagers. So we're going to have to get into that room. I will admit that this is the puzzle I was trying to solve earlier by having Joey basically hum the desk. You can hear that the radio is actually playing now. And since Joey tries to hug pretty close to us, you can see that... Come on, Joey. Follow my commentary here. Come on. Joey. Come over here. My god, use those ghostly legs. Get yourself close to here. You know that we're supposed to... What we're supposed to. There we go. And when that's happening, we go Fuse over here. Box key, huh? I could probably do something. Really quickly and have our, I think, second burglary of the game. We are dastardly people. Now that we have the fuse box key, we can go over to this fuse box we've seen many times before upon entering and use it here to open the fuse box. You're gonna have to act really now quickly. You've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. And do what Joey says. You're going to have to find a place to hide really quickly. You have to go in this nook right here. And when your character sort of blacks out like that, or gets it to a darker shade, you'll know that you are actually out of the, car the security guard's vision. And then, while he's over there, you go around the corner, and there you go. You're in Susan's She's room. Asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before, Before that. Before the mirror glows? And farts? I think that has to be Please. the wimpiest ghost Please. ever. Please! Can't you help me? Please! With what? what I do don't know what with? to do! I don't want to burn. Please! The others are gone. You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! This seems to be our deacon, the person who's been interjecting in people's dreams and making them commit suicide. I have a few sour feelings for him, so I'm going to go ahead and do a forceful interjection here. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. He's got no shoes, Joey. You're... you're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... And you're like me. What do you mean? Dead, like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. Get that away from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... 
I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? Uh, from his facial expressions, I can tell that he seems scared. And there was a comment about Joey being able to see his clown shoes. I wonder if ghosts in this game can see other ghosts' feet. Let's let Joey handle it. He seems to know what he's doing here, and... Yeah, he seems to have a little bit of a grudge against this ghost, this Ouija board conjured ghost. So, let's let him take his feelings out. Alright, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. It's the devil himself. He told me! Please don't make me go! You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me! Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey! Joey! Stop it! I'm sorry about this lag here, folks. I don't know what's going on. Give her a chance? Is this person a dude? Let's handle it our way. Kids, stay out of this. This is between me and the spook. So, are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Oh, I see. Please. Give Rosa a chance. No! What are you gonna do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't wanna go to hell! <laughs> hell <laughs> smell! You wanna stop talking crap? You keep hey, going, Joey. Stop! Let me talk to him, okay? I I think we're still gonna let Joey handle it his way. I like seeing this guy getting punched. I think he deserves it. Kids, stay out of this. This is between me and the spook. I don't believe in hell, buddy. But you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell, or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But... you can't! Sure I can. You gonna stop me? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. <laughs> Whoa. You're hurting him, Joey. This is like an interrogation. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any better ones? Let me talk to him. Okay. Let's just give Rosa a chance. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. Well, I certainly can't punch him. We'll try and give him hope. He seems like he's in a desperate situation, and I... As much as I don't want to comfort him, really, I want him to go to the next world so that we can, you know, complete the objective here. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Well, we are probably the only people who can see you. And we've done this before. Um... We're just gonna bleed right blood here. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. You should probably grab his tie. Like he was asking you to earlier. Here, just take the tie. Is that cough syrup he's drinking? You know what to do. Are you sick? I can't believe she pulled that off. Sometimes being nice is good. Ow. I 
I wonder if you'll never, ever not trip into this world. Safe. Are you ready? Yes, I really think so. I'm glad that I can give you eternal rest, sir. Almost like. Like. At last, I have found you. No! Um. You lied to me! What? It's I... here! You lied! No, I didn't mean to! Um, wh oh, there's my. Crap. My door Joey? went away. Joey? Get me out of here! Am I trapped here? Stay away. Stay away! Please, devil. There is nowhere to go. Are you wearing a thong? You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool. No one can save you now. That depends. Why is the I'll devil give you after a you? Moment to prepare for the eternity to come. But then you are mine. I have absolutely no idea what's happening here. The devil is here to collect this man, and I have never seen this happen before. <laughs> In my limited experience with this world. What is that thing? It's come to take me to hell! Just like it always said it would. Uh, okay. So, as we have a There's a puzzle here, though you may not know. As you hover over these people, you can see that there's the deacon, the demon, and a cobblestone here. We're going to talk to the demon first, though. Excuse me? Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. Um, I think we should ask about his origins. Are you the devil, or are you just someone who's, like, taking things for the How devil? How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept. To one such as I, I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Okay, but why are you taking this man? Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. What did he do? Even after these many years of death. He still carries them with him. I... Should we ask for mercy? Please give a mercy thong, man. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Do you allow people to plead for insanity where you live? Because he seems kind of insane to me. Does he deserve mercy, though? I'm... He was really confused, and he killed a lot of people, but... He didn't know what he was doing. Do people who are insane and don't know what they're doing at the time... Deserve mercy? I think that's an interesting question. I'm gonna say yes, just for the sake of forgiveness. Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. To be fair, there were accidental actions. Please, help! Now, we're gonna pick up this cobblestone. It's the only object we can interact with here. And look at our notebook. Deacon Sins. We're gonna talk to the Deacon. And ask about his flask. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? So Nothing. that's his flask? It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Are you a drinker? Uh, I suppose we should ask about the demon. What is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> it haunted my dreams when I was alive and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now... There's no place left to run. Well, especially not here. 
We're going to ask about his flask again. What is that in your pocket? My flask? Yeah. Not... It's... You... Oh, well, okay, we'll ask about help then. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. I think I might have to give you to him. Uh, we're going to end the conversation and go to our notes again. These are two conversation options, or rather, two things. You can get the, the Deacon's Flask added to your note list after asking him about his flask. We are going to connect Deacon's sins to Deacon's Flask. The Deacon are only is two carrying his sins, and the Deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? There we go. And I think we're going to have to talk about the Deacon. We are going to ask him to drop the flask. Get rid of that flask! Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because it, it's my flask! Just get rid of it! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Oh, oh, okay. I know you have a set animation, but you have to put that thing down. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. It seems like we're on a roll here. Maybe this person was a drinker in his past life? Anyway, we've got the stone here. Please, help! We're going to flat use it to smash... the flask. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace, and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. Yeah, I think I'm you're really free. free. Yes. All this time, it's... All so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died... They killed themselves because of me. Yeah, that is kind of what happened, sir. Yes. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. I am unsure if you deserve hell, sir, for all these things that you did. You didn't know what you were doing, but yes, in your life, if you were a drinker, you probably could have avoided that, especially if you had children. Also, if you'll notice, the back of your jacket looks a little bit like you have a dog bone. Just be a little non sequitur there. Let's give a philosophical response. Actually, an observant response. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Goodbye. And then you swirl away. And the door comes back. That's good. I'm thankful that we're able to leave this place. Jesus Christ, kid. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just met the devil and stuff. So long? It got... a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. There's Let's a stone. Here. I need some air. I, know I had to smash place. this flask. Didn't really know He's what to do. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is I gave you an enough. answer to everything? I Don't gave you, you enough punching me. time. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Thank you. Just glad you're okay. You just you don't really care about us. Joey? You just don't want to stand by yeah. bed for another forty Why years. Why did he stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. It this is satisfying. Ghost saving, or whatever it is we do. Oh, ah. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. 
wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening Aww. to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And that was her and demise. Then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I guess I should never have a kid then. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Don't become pregnant. Is there? Yeah. Still, the only lesson I can see is not becoming pregnant. Anyway, these are our ending credits, everybody. And that marks the end of the Blackwell Legacy. I'm going to start the tradition here where I talk about the game during the credits. I overall was impressed with this. I tried very hard not to give any of my feelings away for the game dur during the time I was playing. This is actually the first time I've ever completed the Let's Play. Anyway, the first time I actually played this game independently, I, I found myself in somewhat of a frenzy. I could not stop playing Blackwell Legacy. Anything in the series was good enough for me. I played the next three games in the next three days following. I I couldn't stop. It was it was a sickness. But there are some flaws I saw in the game. It's quite short. That's the most obvious one. And there's something that is used as a sort of artificial lengthening tactic, and that is the computer. Every time you learn something new, you go back and <laughs> you go to your computer and research it. There could have been better ways of doing that. I can't really suggest any right now, because they fix that problem later in the game, and I think that they do so well. Anyway, I think the ending solution was a little flippy floppy, and the story here is a little two-dimensional. It's basically, you know, you're a ghost hunt. well, not a ghost hunter, but you can see ghosts and put them to more to their ends, and you do so, and that's basically what this is. We have a likable... Ooh, I wonder how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> I hope that that is not shown. My computer just went into sleep mode. <laughs> I have a silly little sleep mode thing going on. I'll make sure to move the mouse from now on. Regardless, I had a lot of fun let's playing this game. I'm not sure if it's the right one to do for <laughs> for you guys. A lot of people go against it doing adventure games, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do the rest of the series. Another problem I had was Rose's voice actor, or actress. They change her later on in the series, which is good. I think she fits the character quite well, but she overacts in a lot of places and underacts in others. She may be a novice. I have not. <laughs> Look, coffee. Lots of it. He's special. He gives a special hint. Thanks. Special activation code. Bright eyes. Anyway, that marks the end of our credits, I believe. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Thank you for that ending monologue, Joey. At the end of each of the games, there will be these... extra photos. And since there is no more of the game, it closed itself, I'm going to stop the audio here. I, I've greatly enjoyed doing this for you, and I probably will be doing the rest of the games in this series. <laughs> Since there's nothing here to entertain you visually, I'm going to stop. Have a great day, guys, and I'm excited to have completed this, because this is my first finished Let's Play, as I said earlier. Goodbye, and have a great night.